Uh, this is a lecture 25 method theory so in this we are going to solve some problems on two port parameters so this is gate 2016 problem z is equal to given 2 j omega j omega j omega 3 plus 2 j omega z parameter max is given suppose z b of j omega is equal to r b plus j omega then find the value of r b norms <coughs> now the moment this uh, t network is given we know that z is equal to these two will be added first z a plus z c and this is the common so it is z c z c then there is z2 to is z b plus z c now we need to compare this and this so z a plus c z c will be j omega so it will be fixed that is this is j omega z c also fixed that is j omega that means so j omega it is fixed so what is z a should be j omega because it is 2 j omega similarly z p so this is 3 plus 2 j omega but z b is see z c is fixed that is j omega to make 3 plus 2 j omega so z b should be 3 plus j omega yes or no so then only z b plus z c will become 3 plus 2 j omega but he is given z b is equal to r b plus j omega so j omega j omega max so what is r b is nothing but 3 ohms right so just comparison we need to make next question we will see this is again k 2016 maybe one more so t parameter max is given a b c d if the network is reciprocal then so anyway this is not the condition t square equal to t not condition debt is not a condition so the only one condition is satisfying is debt determinant of t is equal to 1 so this is gate 2015 question so we need to find the abcd matter uh, parameters of the following two port network now to solve this type of question so we can solve by two methods so that is input port or that is input voltage and input current output voltage and output current is given now to solve this one the two, two one is standard process that is so what first we will find what is the parameters v1 is equal to a v2 minus b i2 similarly i1 is equal to c v2 minus d i2 now if i apply kvl and i can make equations like this or first i2 make i2 0 find a and c value then make v2 0 find b and d value now i will do by kvl method you solve by the standard procedure make i2 0 then find the relation between v1 and v2 now if i apply kvl in this loop i will easily get c i1 is coming and i2 is coming so both will be added here so i1 plus i2 now if i apply kvl in this loop so i will get v1 is equal to i1 is going through these two uh, impedances so i can add directly 5 plus j4 plus 2 this is j0 so 7 plus j4 into i1 plus 2 into i2 because this is only impedance which is going through to this uh, current i2 is going through similarly if i apply kvl in this loop so it will become v2 is equal to i1 is going through this impedance only so it will become 2 i1 plus adding these two 5 minus j4 plus 2 so it will become 7 minus j4 into i2 if you see this expression so it is the i1 if i make i1 into this side so or v2 and i2 so i can get the second expression so from this i1 is equal to v2 minus 7 minus j4 into i2 by 2 so this is 2 so going here 1 by 2 here also by 2 so what is this is nothing but c so we got c is equal to 0.5 c c is equal to what i1 by v2 so what is the uh, uh, units O MOS or Siemens. Similarly, this is D value. So D is equal to I1 by I2. So unitless. So D is equal to 7 by 2 means 3.5 minus 4 by 2 means 2. So this is C and D value. Now to find A and B, just we need to substitute this I1 in this uh, expression, then we can get easily. So V1 is equal to 7 plus J4 into I1. So what is I1 this total expression 1 by 2 V2 minus 3.5 minus 
j2 into i2 plus 2 into i2. Now what is this? So if it is multiplied with this one, we will get 7 by 2 means 3.5 plus j4 by 2 means 2 into v2. Right? Now to find the this is a we got a v2. So these two will be multiplied that is minus 3.5 minus j2 into 7 plus j4 i2 plus 2 i2. Now to get uh, the value of this one here, so I need to take again 3.5 plus j2 into this is v1 into v2 minus see here 3.5 into 7 so we will get 3.5 into 7 and 3.5 into this 4 so or we can use calc by multiplying these two right in complex mode that is 3.5 minus 2i into 7 plus j4 7 plus 4i so we got the total minus of 32.5 here and 0 i right into i2 plus 2 i2 right so what is this one 3.5 plus j2 into v2 minus say 32.5 plus 2 so you'll get 30.5 i2 so what is this v1 so this is nothing but a and b so what is the ABCD matrix? So 3.5 plus J2, this is 30.5 and this one is, the C is 0.5 we got and D is 3.5 minus J2, right? So this is the T matrix or ABCD matrix, right? So one more question we will do, this one, this is the previous, that is gate 2016 question. Now here we need to find the Z parameter matrix Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22 for the two pole network shown. Now this is no alternate procedure because we cannot apply KVL, KCL because the one is short circuited. So we will go with the standard procedure. This is I2, this is I1. Now to make, a, to find the Z11, so first we will write V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. First we will make I2 0, then we can find Z11, Z21. Right? So, first one, when I2 is 0, that is see here, the current is 0. So, first we will give some uh, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So, this total circuit will become like this. This is V1 and this is I1. So, this is 1. Right? Node 1. From 1 to 2, there is a 3 ohm resistor, so, so this will become like this, 3 ohm resistor and this is a 2. So anyway, this is open circuit that is grounded, I mean current is 0, but 2 to 4, there is a short circuit, so 2 to 4, there is a short circuit. Then similarly, 1 to 3, there is a short circuit, so this is 3. Now between uh, 2 and 3 will have plus minus V2. So this is plus minus V2 and we will have 6 ohm resistor here. So we need to uh, draw the alternate circuit then only we can find the value. Right? Now that's now is very easy to find the values. See here this is only two branches flowing here. So that is one is 3 ohms, one is 6 ohm. This is the current I1. So I2 is 0 so we will find V1 by I1. Next V2 by I1. That is Z11 we will get Z21. Now to find I1, so this is the parallel combination of two resistors. So I can write directly like this. V1 is equal to I1 into 3 parallel 6. So what is V1 by I1? Which is Z11 is equal to 3 into 6, 18 by 9, which is 2 ohms because Z. Next, to find V2 versus I1, the relation, see this is I1 is coming. This is one resistance, this is one resistance. So according to the current division rule if i find this current so this current is equal to the main current i1 into opposite resistance 3 by total resistance 6 plus 3 9 so what is this i1 by 3 is flowing in this branch 
now if i apply kvl like this i will get v2 versus i1 so plus v2 plus i1 by 3 into 6 is equal to 0 so this is the equation we will get in this loop so if it is touching with the plus then i1 by 3 into 6 so what is v2 is equal to so 3 twos minus 2 i1 but we need v2 by i1 which is nothing but z21 which is minus 2 ohms so this is the procedure for making i2 0 now we will find making i1 equal to 0 same up now to find the z12 and uh, the remaining parameters so i will make i1 equal to 0 so when i1 is equal to 0 so that this current is 0 so i1 equal to 0 so what is the modified circuit first we need to draw the modified circuit so if it is this is the 1 2 then this is 3 this is 4 right now so this is plus minus v2 and this is i2 right now from 1 to 3 i mean 1 to 2 there is a resistance 3 ohms right 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 it is a short circuit so this is a 3 right next again so there is a one more resistor from 3 to 4 so 3 to 4 means there is a resistance which is 6 ohms right this is the 4 right this is 1 this is 2 similarly this is so this is 3 so 3 to 4 then again 1 to 4 there is a short circuit so something like this but now where is the uh, v1 v1 is between 2 to 1 2 and 4 so 2 is a positive 4 is a negative so this is v1 that's it now we can find easily v2 versus i2 that is z22 so what is v2 v2 is equal to i2 into 3 parallel again 6 so we will get v2 by i2 which is z22 is equal to 2 ohms same as z11 similarly to find the other parameters v1 versus i2 same see this is the current and this is the one more current so we need a kvl across either this loop or this loop so if i find this current main current into opposite resistance 6 by total resistance 9 so it will become uh, i2 by i2 into 2 by 3 so 2 i2 by 3 is current flow in this direction now if i apply kvl here so what i will get so 2 i2 by 3 into 3 right plus v1 equal to 0 so 3 3 cancel so v1 by i2 is nothing but minus 2 ohms so what is v1 by i2 so if you see this expression yeah this one so v2 is equal to z21 i1 so v2 by i1 so z12 is equal to v1 by i2 so this is nothing but z12 which is minus 2 ohms so what is the z parameter matrix 2 minus 2 minus 2 so this is the final answer so this is the previous gate question right from gate 2016 say this type of questions go for the standard procedure so making i2 0 then i1 0 then find the parameters right so this is gate 2014 question so in this find z matrix for the two port network shown now this is a pi network so generally we can solve directly the Hermitage matrix but what we need to do first here to find the z matrix this is the del network so i can find the star network or we can say t network then easily we can find the the z matrix now what is this value see this is coming from these two branches so 10 into 30 by total resistance 10 plus 30 40 plus 600 so this is the so 3 ohms next what is this resistance so it is coming from these two so 30 into 60 by 100 so again so 3 6 are 18 next what is this resistance so this resistance is coming from these two so 10 into 60 by 100 this is nothing but 6 ohms now now we can easily find the the z matrix what is z matrix this is z a z b z c so z is equal to these two are 
summation so 3 plus 6 9 ohms and the zb is common to both so 6 ohm 6 ohm what is zc so i mean z22 uh, is zc plus zb so 18 plus 6 24 ohms right so very simple this so first we need to find the uh, delta to star connection or t network then we can solve easily to find the z matrix <coughs> now this uh, this is also uh, previous gate question uh, maybe 2014 or uh, 13 right he is asked the some question is network is given like this this is v1 v2 the two port network and the load resistance is given 100 ohms and this is i2 and the source resistance 100 ohm and uh, i mean source voltage 100 volts and resistance 25 ohms now we need to find so this n network is described by some y matrix which is given 0.1 siemens minus 0.01 siemens 0.01 siemens 0.1 siemens so what we need to find the voltage gain v2 by v1 is now by looking this circuits um, people uh, think that it is uh, somewhat difficult no but it's very easy what we need to find is the relationship so if you see this one i need v2 see current direction is upward so what is v2 can write in simply minus 100 i2 equation 1 now to find the gain so this is the network given so what we need to write so we need to write y parameter matrix so that is i1 is equal to y11 v1 so what is y11 given 0.1 into v1 plus y12 but y12 is minus 0 0.01 into v2 similarly what is i2 i2 is equal to 0 0.01 into v1 plus 0 0.1 into v2 now this is equation 2 this is equation 3 if you see from equation 1 i can replace v2 here by v2 by 100 so there is minus 100 uh, minus v2 by 100 is nothing but i2 which is equal to 0 0.01 v1 plus 0 0.1 v2 now we need v2 by v1 so if i take v2 common so if i take v2 common here minus 1 by 100 this is coming this side minus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.01 v1 so what we need v2 by v1 right gain so v2 by v1 so this is minus 1 by 100 means minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.1 right is equal to 0 0.01 so what is the final answer so v2 by v1 is equal to 0 0.01 by minus 0 0.1 one one why because 0 0.01 minus 0 0.1 it will be added so what is this if i multiply with 100 i will get minus 1 by 11 this is the gain right so this type of questions may be given three four times so what we need to do we need wherever we find uh, some value it may be some output imprints or output voltage gain or uh, some resistance etc so they will give some uh, matrix form that is it may be z matrix it is maybe y matrix it may be t matrix so from that we need to derive these two expressions then one more expression will come from the output side or input side then we can solve like this so gate is nothing but minus 1 by 11 this is a gate 2001 question so in this uh, we need to find only two parameters that is z11 z21 for the two port network in the figure now to find this one so we will find simple by kvl application see this is i2 this is i1 is coming so i1 plus i2 now simple i will write e1 is equal to 2 plus 4 directly 6 i1 plus 4 i2 because 4 for in this 4 branch i2 is coming as well as i1 is coming but there is a voltage source which is minus 10 times of e1 now if i take common this will become 10 times of e1 plus v1 is equal to 6 i1 plus 4 i2 so what is e1 is equal to 6 by 11 i1 plus 4 by 11 i2 so this is z11 so we got z11 as 6 by 11 ohms <coughs> now if i apply kvl in the second so e2 is equal to only only one resistance see here no resistance so 4 i1 plus 4 i2 but here minus 
10 e1 right to find z21 so we need e1 expression so here 4e1 4i1 plus 4i2 minus 10 into e1 e1 is 6 by 11 i1 plus 4 by 11 i2 so if i take i1 common so 4 minus 10 into 60 by 11 plus if i take i2 common it is 4 minus 40 by 11 now see we got z11 so z21 is nothing but this one so z21 only this one because this is e2 so what is z21 so z21 is equal to 4 minus 60 by 11 or we can say 44 minus 60 by 11 that is minus 16 by 11 ohms here z11 is 6 by 11 ohms right <coughs> Now, so this is how to do this problem. Next, we will see one more question. This question is in grade 2003. Here, Z11, Z12, again, Z11, Z12 only. That means if I find this V1 expression in terms of I1 and I2, then it is over. Now, if you see this one, so there are two nodes and three loops. So it's very lengthy procedure. Now, what is the alternate approach? See, if you see this one, this internal is a pi network. Now, I can simply convert into delta to star, then I can solve easily. Right? Now, how this is the one? This is 2 ohms, and this is 1 resistor, 1 more resistor, 1 more resistor, and this is 2 ohms. Right? This is V2, this is V1, this is I1, this is I2. Now, how to find these three resistance? This resistance is coming between these two from delta to star. So, 2 into 1, so 2 by total resistance 1 plus 2 plus 1, that is 4. So, it's nothing but 1 by 2. Similarly, this resistance is coming between these two. So, 2 into 1 by 4. So, again 1 by 2. But this one is 1 into 1. So, this is 1 by 4. Right? So, 1 into 1 by total resistance is 4. Now, it's very simple. This total circuit is see here simple pi or uh, what you call t network. So t network means v1 is equal to the total resistance is 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 i1 plus <coughs> i2 is coming in this branch only. So 1 by 4 i2. So what is z11? 2.75 2 ohms. Z12 is nothing but 0.25 ohms. That's it. Right? So when you convert this delta to star, then it is very easy to find the values. Right? Next one more question. So we to the fourth. The A B C D parameters of an ideal NH to one transformer shown in the figure are N00 X. So what is X here? Now we know that from uh, transformer uh, concept v1 by v2 is equal to i2 by i1 is equal to n2 by sorry n1 by n2 so v1 by v2 means n1 by n2 i2 by i1 means the opposite n1 by n2 but actual transformer will be like this so i1 is coming but i2 should be in terms of outgoing so but if this if you see this one so this will become minus i2 because i2 is incoming right now if i solve this one <coughs> v1 by v2 is equal to what is n1 n by 1 so v1 is equal to n into v2 equation 1 now from this equation minus i2 by i1 is equal to n by 1 so what is i1 here i1 is equal to minus 1 by n i2 if I equate this expression with the standard equation that is AV2 minus BI2 similarly I1 is equal to CV2 minus DI2 now see here A means only we will get N so ABCD is equal to N so but here no I2 term so 0 similarly in this CV2 so V2 term is not there so 0 but here minus 1 by n so minus d so what is the d value it is 1 by n so what is x x is equal to 1 by n right very simple 
but what we need to do is always in transformer i1 should be enter into this winding i2 should be leaving into the uh, out of the this winding so then only v1 by v2 is equal to i2 by i1 is equal to n1 by n2 <coughs> right next we'll see what two more problems this is gate 90 90 the open circuit impedance matrix that is open circuit means z impedance matrix means z now to solve this one it's very easy if you apply kvl approach then we will get see whenever we are finding the impedance matrix always kvl or mesh analysis now to find the current see this is i1 if i know this current i will apply one kvl here then we can get the answer see it is i2 is incoming this 3 i1 is dependent current source which is leaving so what should be this current if i apply kcl here so it will become i2 minus 3 i1 because i2 is coming and the 3 i1 is subtracting from i2 so i2 minus 3 i1 now if i2 minus 3 i1 is coming i1 is coming this current will become i2 minus 2 i1 because minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2 i1 you apply kcl here you will get same answers like this now if I apply KVL here, I will get first equation. So V1 is equal to minus 2I1 plus I2 into 1 because 1 1. So minus 2I1 plus I2. This is V1. So one equation we got. So what about the second equation? If you apply KVL in this loop because I cannot apply the KVL because this is a current source. So if I apply KVL like this, so V2 is equal to 2 into I2 minus 3i1 because this is the current and here the current is plus i2 minus 2 i1 into 1 so minus 3 into 2 minus 6 i1 minus 2 so total minus 8 i1 plus i2 plus 2 i2 so 3 i2 this is v2 now what is the impedance matrix z here minus 2 so minus 2 1 minus 8 3 right this is very simple just kvl we need to apply next one more question in gate 2001 the admittance parameter of the that is we need to find only y12 in the two port network in the figure so it's nothing but it's a pi network so we know that ya if this is yb and this is yc so what is the y matrix we know that the y11 will be added that is ya plus yb and uh, y22 is yb plus yc and the y11 y12 and y21 will be same which is minus yb minus yb right if you apply the nodal analysis also you will get the same expressions but this is impedance is given but we need admittance see this is y11 y12 y21 y22 but he has asked y12 y12 is nothing but minus yb so y12 is equal to minus yb what is yb this is impedance so minus 1 by 20 Siemens or MOS is the value or we can say minus 0 0.05 Siemens or MOS very simple right so what we need to remember is this expression ya plus yb minus yb if you don't remember also you will find the by nodal analysis this is e1 this is e2 if you apply nodal analysis you will get i1 equation as well as i2 equation then we can find y12 also Yes, you do by nodal analysis and compare the result right so this is about some uh, gate questions previous gate questions i solved you do remaining gate questions if you are getting any problem just post a comment there right now in the next lecture next lecture we will see equivalent circuits equivalent circuits in uh, this uh, impedance matrix or uh, hybrid parameters then the uh, suppose two connections suppose series series connections are there two uh, z matrix or a uh, y matrix are connected in series or parallel so connection of two port networks connection of two port networks we will see right in the next lecture right